I was very career driven. I was tired of hopping around from job to job. I really wanted to find something that I was gonna do for the rest of my life and it became very apparent gas was it. In college, I was undeclared for my first two semesters and starting my sophomore year, I took a safety class and I was very intrigued. I wanted to take on a career where I knew there'd be a job waiting for me as soon as I spent that money on college. If you like working closely with other people, this is probably for you. Got the 28 machine here. Today we're gonna fuse six inch plastic pipe here. So if we wanna go through our inspection first, what are some of the things that we wanna look through? You have the chances to succeed and move up through the ranks. You don't need any experience to get into this field. If it's a hole that's 25 foot or more, you gotta have a ladder every 25 foot. It's very easy to get into gas and make some good money while doing it as well. Without the pipeline industry, we wouldn't have natural gas to keep your stoves on at your houses. They're more than likely replacing all the services on both sides of the street here, as well as the main. Natural gas is very important to our infrastructure. The safety and technical trainer has uh, two roles. One, I train all the guys that are up and coming. And I also do safety audits on the daily. I go out, I audit job sites, make sure that everything that our crews are doing are by the books and they're being safe. Yep, there's your six foot there. So, should be good. I figured if there's a little room, a little extra room, we'd yeah. rather have that than too tight. My primary function is making sure that the standards are upheld and seeing if there's any improvements to be made. We're out here on Manny's crew right now. They're excavating a tie-in pit, so they're using hydro excavation. He's actually pulling out a lot of that hard material. Seeing crews on a daily basis is very rewarding to me. I think safety is the number one priority I think everyone should have in the back of their head. We work with our guys in the field and girls to keep them safe so that they can return home to their families every night. We work closely with our area managers and operations leaders, talking about any upcoming projects that they have going on, talk about the safety requirements for those projects, and work on putting precautions in place for those individuals. We like to listen to the voices from the field to help keep them safe. They're the ones doing the work. Everybody's got a role to do from me going out and auditing and catching stuff that's not being done safe to a crew leader who should make sure that his crew is doing stuff safe. We simulate a lot of things so they get a lot of hands-on experience. Now these blades are sharp, they are meant for facing pipe. So we do not run it across against that slat. They're with our trainers for a long time before they actually go out into the field. That way we know that they're fully prepared to enter the workforce. I love what I do. I love being in the field. I love being in the office. I love to train. I actually always wanted to be a teacher, so this was kind of like a great fit for me. That's what you know gets me up in the morning and, and keeps me coming in, that we know we're making a difference and we're creating a positive safety culture here at Chaos. As long as you're willing to work, we can uh, we'll work with you. I can say there's a, a lot of stability in natural gas, and at least in Baltimore, there's a lot of work to be done. There's 20, 30 years of pipeline work just on the bg &E system. So, and that's just the Baltimore area. So there is no reason you can't get into this career and then retire from it.